Hello everybody and welcome to Status by a Daily Challenge August 17, 2018. My mic was not plugged in. I did not realize until it was really too late and the recording was on. And I was like, I could stop it and restart, but nah. It adds a little bit of mystery. For now though, we are here to play as the Ironclad. Yes! Makes me super happy. So excited to be playing as the Ironclad. We got Insanity, Terminal, and Vintage, which are all very nice um, modifiers. Of course, we have 11 wins and 5 losses so far if i'm correct on the numbers there i'm not entirely sure but i'm thinking it is 11 wins and five losses and uh, we only need to score 1285 it's not that much but there won't be much collector's bonuses in this because of vintage so all our points will have to come from perfecting beyond perfecting etc so we're going to jump into it not spend too much time here and i should actually look at these before we go on so we got rage we got bludgeon reaper metallicize flame barrier dual wield we got the flame seeing we got to have a, a two bludgeons that's a little bit unfortunate two metallicizes three metallicizes one feed which is very nice to get our max hp up and a headbutt so everything it looks okay i do see like a, a singular barricade which is very nice uh with three metallicizes and some rage so there could be some barricade uh potential here Maybe we want to upgrade barricade as soon as we get a chance. Anyways, after you let's jump in. We want to get to as many elites as we can, of course. And try and perfect as many of those as we can. So we can get as much points. I only see two elites on no matter what path we take. So... In that case... Hmm. Both elites do have to go through a enemy. Interesting. Maybe... I mean a shop. Not an enemy. A shop. I guess we could take this route. I think we're going to want to go this route. So we're going to start off over here. I think we're going to start off over here. I think that's fine. Okay, so looking right off the bat, um, while placing it, I'm going to play Havoc. And maybe we get a good card. We've got Iron Wave. And we can kill you. We have played Armor, so we'll keep the perfect. I think you see that. That's great. Bludgeon is a very good card. Like, don't. Like, lots of people underestimate Bludgeon. Don't underestimate Bludgeon. It's a good card. First relic bag of marbles. Game you shouldn't have. Havoc again. Good damage. Mm. I'll take some damage here. We're burning blood. We'll hit it up. It's okay. It's fine. It's okay. Now I'd like to eat you. If I can. Oh, you really seriously can't eat you? Okay. Well, I guess we won't eat them then. We're one damage short. We even used a... Uh, we even used a card... Uh, attack card for that. Oh, Toxic Egg is our second card. Are you serious right now? I will go hard on this. Courier. Oh, my word. Those are three of like the best fucking things in the game. You're just giving to me right off the bat. Thank you so much, game. You're so kind. Okay, so Courier is really big. I think Paper Fog would have been very nice and so would turn up, but I think we wouldn't mind a Havoc here. Um, I'll take a walk right here. I'll take another Havoc here. I think that's great. I had three exhausty cards that uh, cost zero. That's always good. Obviously, you do this, then you do this, then you do that, and then you do that. Okay, so we've got uh, nothing really set up here. We need to kill him here, preferably. Um, let's go for a weekend. And we can have up. Okay. And exhume. I used exhume. It brought back Pommel Strike, not Havoc. Havoc doesn't exhaust. Pommel Strike exhausted. Okay, I understand. And then we can use Headbutt here. Four damage short. Are you serious? Any zero costing Havoc. Okay, so no perfect pass in the first lead. That's a little bit unfortunate, but it's okay. It's okay. It's not really great, but it's okay. I'll make it work. A little bit of max HP out of that. Feels good. Gary is huge. So let's try close down or pummel. I'll take whatever I have for the, the bonus for co possible collector here, but I should probably take what's just better for me. Uh, Twin Strike could be good. Pummel, we have a single pummel, so pummel is tempting. Pummel exhaust as well, so I'm going to take pummel. Uh, close down is just a little bit too on the expensive side. As always, though, we are going to be trying our best to just. Uh, eat as much as we can, or feed on as many enemies as we can, uh, rather, and also to, um, well, this will give me 12 block, and it will keep them alive, so we can maybe get a feed out here, it's possible, 
Oh, he's gonna kill himself on fire. Fuck! I'm an idiot. Never mind. No feed for us. We got strawberries. It's okay. Uh, now, which part do we want to take? We want to come this part. Okay. I wasn't sure exactly. I'm actually gonna lift here. I think lifting is gonna be worth more for us since we have so many cards. Upgrading all the cards is so difficult already that. Uh, mm, I don't want to get a second shop. It's fine. So it's, it's, I think it's definitely the right choice here to just go for the straight up murder. Ooh, scrambling chip is really good. This is looking really good so far. Um, let's get rid of this and I'll keep... Wait, that, I'll get rid of that. Mm, I'll get rid of this too. Interesting. Beautiful Havoc play. Beautiful Havoc play. Oh my word, you are just diamond dusted, good sir. Very nice. Dog stamp arrived. I like it a lot. What you got here? Move a combo deck, heal 19 HP. Um... Is there a card in this deck that we wouldn't mind removing? Let's look at it and think about it. What card we see and be like, oh man, every time I draw, I'm just going to be sad. Is there such a card? Is there such a card? Maybe Dark Embrace, but I think not. I think I'm just going to say, sorry, Mr. Cleric. It was nice to see you. Thank you for being kind and generous and coming and showing up. But I think we don't need you. So I'm going to start off by using the... Uh, ooh. Hmm. Interesting. I think Heavy Blade can go and so can Flame. I'm not sure if that was right. So we'll find out soon. Use this. We've got a free cleave. That is 9 damage to enemies. This is 12 damage to this thing. And this is 14 damage. You lose about HP. 9 damage to enemies or 15 damage to a single enemy. I think you want the 15 damage to a single enemy. Because you can go something like this. And then like this. Play that. Make this charge of this guy. And then we can use a ghostly armor to maintain the perfect. Okay, so perfect technically still maintained. He's one shot away, so we only need to play one block. Next turn it will be fine. One block and our perfect is intact. So our perfect is still intact right now, which is really nice. But we need you to die. We must use this first. We use this prevent, we don't need to play the block. Yes, we don't. Okay, so you must die though. Regardless, you have to still die. Our perfect should be intact right now. We have eight block naturally. And now we've got enough block. So now we should have enough block to just straight up never take damage, which is really good. So we should never we should keep we should get a perfect we, we get enough block without ever playing actual cards. So I'm gonna definitely think be thinking we should get a perfect here. But you never know how it might go. You never know. I'm pretty sure we perfect this elite fight, but uh, now the question is we probably want to wait for a feed to show up here to kill him with a feed. Probably. So we don't want to do too much damage, so we use the emulate and then just end the turn. There you go, that's some, he's in feed range now. Now we just delay until feed shows up and we feed on him. Play a barricade, why not? It gives us a bunch of extra block. There you go. And now we just wait for that feed to shop. It has to shop at some point, so. Burning pack out of these this days, get two more cards, and end the turn. Feels really nice right now. This feels extremely strong. Of course, we have two barricades. We might want we actually want to give it on one of those. Um of course feed's never showing up, so that's just how it is, you know. When you need the feed to show up, it don't show. It don't show until the last possible hand. There we go. Hello feed, I was waiting for you. Thank you. Okay, awesome. Um, oh, Mamori. I don't think we want Omori. We want the max HP from the Dark Five, so I'm going to skip Omori. I think I'm going to go Metallicizer, and I'll give us four Metallicizer. So I'm going to skip Omori and move along. Moving along in this house. Get rid of that. Get rid of that and that. That's great. Go like this. Uh, duplicate this. Go boom. Da boom. Da boom. Da boom. Da boom. And beautiful. Beautiful. So this definitely is a uh, what's gonna call it in this in this deck a uh, a strat that we could revolve around playing um, barricade and with the metallic and the plate army just getting kind of an infinite damage type situation going along. Definitely see that as a possibility here. So I should have more than that block. This this feels really strong and very nice. I must I'm very happy. But there's our barricade. A bit of iron wave action, maybe a little bit of havoc action. Where's our feed? Is our feed in our uh, graveyard? It is in our graveyard. So we'd have to wait 30 turns if we wanted to feed this guy. We could do that obviously, because we could obviously just uh, gain infinite block. Oh, it had to be bludgeon. 
It had to be Rajan. I would love to uh, lift here for more strength, but I think I'm going to dig for more relics. I think, oh, getting an early Matryoshka like that is so lucky. Okay, so this is a little bit more of a trickier type of situation. We want to be a little bit more careful how we play this. Let's go like this first. This is a bit awkward. I'll do a wheel bludgeon, I guess, but definitely awkward, as I said. Did a lot of damage on the first turn. He's 21 away from splitting, so splitting him shouldn't be too difficult. Especially we can go like this, and then like this, and then this will do 18, this will do 20. I will not split him, we'll leave him 71. So he will not split, so we could knock him down by even more. But I think I'm going to gamble it a little bit and wait a turn. I want to split him, I want to split him as much as possible. I'm going to start with Feel No Pain, because we're going to get a lot of block out of this. There's our first one. There's our second one. There's our third one. And unfortunately, we did not have another block just to get that extra splitting damage to make it even weaker. Start with the Rage, obviously. It's really good. Gotta go War Cry. Give it a bit of Fend. Play some of that uh, Boomerang action. Play some of this Pommel action. He's down. Go for a Heavy Blade. Splits into two 9 HP enemies. Our perfect seems pretty much guaranteed right now, but you never know. You never know what could happen in the Slayer Spy Daily. We didn't ever play Barricade. I guess that's why we didn't ever have... Uh, if we could have played Barricade, that would be good. So we would actually like to probably upgrade one of these Barricades at some point. Oh, there's the feed we need. I thought it was in our graveyard for some reason. Do we have two feeds? Why did I think feed was in our graveyard? Feed was in our graveyard last hand. I was... Trying to draw through to wait for the feet to show up, and then little did I know that I could delay this for a little bit, it's fine. Wait for a second feet to show up. I uh, don't know if that's a good idea though. I'll play Barricade. Uh, we're definitely getting more. Our perfect is still intact. I'm just checking that our perfect is always intact. Okay, so with Barricade now, our perfect should be guaranteed intact. I'm a bit scared to play Havoc! I play a slime, that's great. And intact. Okay, sweet. So with our Barricade up now and the amount of uh, stuff we have, we have more than enough HP to just wait for feet to show up. We're just going to delay this forever and ever and ever while we wait for Feed to show up. And then eventually Feed will show up. It has to. At some point. And when Feed shows up, then we will, of course, just eat him. And they'll be in this fight. I think it's I think it's definitely worth delaying these for the Feed to show up. I think it definitely is a situation that I should do. Because I'm going to be losing max HP for this whole run. So if I can delay and just get a lot of free Feeds. Even if I have to take a little bit of time, I think it's still worth it. I think you got to go Double Tap Plus here. It's the right choice. Um... I mean, I don't want to really smith anything here, do I? I mean, I want to smith the barricade, so I can't take that. I want money because shops are good. I'm going to take Curse Bow. It's the best one here. We get uh, Shame. Oh, they changed Shame. The Shame looks so cool. Doubt and Parasite. These are actually great. All of these are not bad. Like, Doubt's the only one that might be a little bit bad. And maybe Frail. But in the in the long run, it's not. With an exhaust synergy that we have going already with Dead Branch. Oh, my word. I made the right fucking choice. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Elite, elite, elite. Okay, beautiful. Elite, secondary elite. Uh, still secondary elite. Only two elites. There's only one pot. There's two pots that have elites. So we can choose any one. Um, I want the most enemies. But I just want to get to a shop. Yeah, that looks like... Oh, this this just the side path. Just, it's just perfect. It's absolutely the most perfect side, uh, perfect path you've ever seen. I want that. Actually, I'll get rid of this and this and this. Those all are bad. Sweet. So let's start with Barricade. Go feel no pain. Go rage, I guess. And... Barricade can start giving us a little bit of block, which we're going to need because of this douche and his douchiness. That is his uh, douchiness. Does slightly more damage. A little bit. We're actually going to take them. Actually, we're not going to take I was going to say we're actually going to take damage here. I was wrong. We are not going to take damage here. So, uh, time to pummel here. Definitely time to pummel here. And then time to go to the armor. And then time to go to the armor. And then in our turn. There we go. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. A little bit of Havoc, love it. A little bit of Havoc, love it. A little bit of that Entrance action. And a little bit of Trigger. And now we can just delay once again until Feed shows up, which we got out of the Dead Branch. This deck is stupid strong. Stupid strong. I don't want to ever hear anyone tell me, ever, ever again, that Relics are not powerful. Are you seeing what I'm seeing here? I mean, technically we should delay for a... Uh, A feed to show up, but uh, if I can just kill them, I'm just gonna kill them. 
an old coin, more money for the later shop, that's a great deal. Buy a ghost armor, buy uh buy the oil, I don't think I need that. <coughs> Excuse me. Gonna play our havoc here. <coughs> oh what a bludgeon! The bludgeon of destiny, guys. The bludgeon of destiny. Of course I didn't get to feed there, which is a little bit unfortunate, but as I said, the amount of relics we're getting. The amount of good cards we have on the deck, we should just be in a really good place. I honestly don't see us losing this. I mean, obviously we could lose this. So we can put the card on top of our deck that we want to play for free. So let's play a free emulate. Then we can play a feel no pain. Then we can play Havoc and use it as a free emulate. We can then play a Juggernaut for 10, 9 damage. And then that should make feed eatable on someone. Anyone we want. Let's take the guy the most HP. We got a nice little feed out. Let's rampage the guy to the second most HP. And we can walk out for lols. Let's put a string blow on top so we know we get the kill next turn. Beautiful. Oh, that was a kill with this charge, but who cares? He's dead next turn regardless. Um, I should actually feed so I can get the extra HP. It doesn't do enough damage. Three times four will kill. Are you serious right now, game? 13 will kill. I don't know how to, I don't know how to kill him, honestly, without... There's no way to kill him. I need one damage. I need one damage. You motherfuckers. You motherfuckers. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. That's just cool, man. That is just cool. We're actually going to take damage now. Oops. We're taking a single hit of damage. I might have messed up a bit. My question is, do I want to attempt to delay and exhaust cards a lot and hope for like a feed to show up? I mean, we could do that, technically speaking. Because we can almost exhaust forever. Almost. Okay, I'll give it like one more good exhaustion. Run. Okay. We have barricade up, so technically we don't need to really do anything else. I mean, we're never going to take damage again, so technically we could just delay this for the rest of our human lives. Until we get a... Uh, Ex exhume or feed. There's an exhume. We got it. Easy peasy. I knew we got it. You see, sometimes you just need to believe. I believe, guys. I believe. And I got the free extra HP out. Oh, blue candle is perfect. Look, I think I think this is one of those rare situations. We are just destined to win the run. I just get that feeling. It's one of those. I'm going to discard this. Play that. Play that. I want to, of course, play a uh, Pommel. And then I want to play a Carnage. Hmm. Didn't do as much damage as I thought it was going to do. I thought it was going to do a bit more than that, but it's okay. We are Sneko Eyed, so that's a bit scary, but it worked out kind of good. Some of this. Uh, Himokimesis. A little bit of that Fire Breather. A little bit of that War Cry action. Let's go to this. A little bit of that body slam for one, I guess. Okay. We're taking a little damage here, but that's because of the snake or eye. It's too strong for us. But it's a... Wow, that was one of those times that snake or eye actually worked out fucking amazingly. Who would have thought? I didn't believe, but I should have. Lantern is so good. Uh, this is a 1-1. One, one. And I will take 4 relic instead of lifting again, even though... Okay, it was basically the same. Except there's one less relic we can get now, normally, which means... We have a higher mathematical chance of getting relics we want to get. Is that how that works? I never really understood how that works. Ooh, this is awkward. Barricade, I guess. Metallicize. War cry. We can use a flex, I guess. Get the team block. So we're not gonna perfect this, there's literally no way. Um but we not gonna take too much damage. You need to take a little bit of damage, it's okay. This was a very, this was a very hard perfect, so wasn't much I could do about the situation. I need you to kind of die, dude. Okay, next time just find him before we use all our attacks, that way we can actually kill him without having to lose a ton of HP. Just future reference stuff. That's actually that we're in an okay place. We didn't perfect this elite fight, which obviously is really bad, but we should still be in a pretty good place. Feel no pain is huge. Lose that HP, make blood for blood free. A little bit of that pummel. Let's maybe use these these uh, double strikes so we can actually kill people. Just I'm just thinking out loud here. 
I mean, I, you don't have to, obviously. It's all your own choice and all that nonsense. But at the same time, maybe we should just actually kill the enemies instead of just not <laughs> killing them. Why am I not killing you guys? I don't understand. I should have just killed you ages ago. But for some reason, I am a fool. And I refuse to kill you guys. <laughs> oh my word. Can I stop taking unnecessary damage and just murder these children? Okay, there's a feed though. That makes it kind of worth it, I guess. A little bit of heavy blade action. A little bit of this. A little bit of battle chance. A little bit of this. What does this do? 35? That is way too much fucking damage, game. Oh, man. So we got the feed. Now we just need an exhume to pop up or something along those lines. This is actually good. That will not do a lot of damage and it will not kill him. So we can just keep defending with Barry. Oh, never mind. I forgot we had Stone Cannon though. Stone Cannon kind of defeats my strat for infinite, uh, what's it called? So that's all. So like Metallic has one, two, three, four Metallic sizes. So we probably want to go for Blood for Blood or Iron Wave. How many Iron Waves do we have here? Iron wave, how many do we have one? We got that one iron wave that I can see that I know of. It's two iron waves that I can see that I know of. And what's the other one? Blood for blood. Blood for blood, we got the blood for bloods. One, we got that one blood for blood. We're looking for the more blood for bloods. How many more blood for bloods do we got? We got that one blood for blood. This guy wave because it's closer to collector's bonus at least. So, ooh, this guy's a problem actually. Let's go to this, this, and that. That's perfect. Give me something amazing. Pummel is not amazing. I will play this though. And then I'll get a free Havoc. Okay, so we can start with Immolate, obviously. It does the most. I'm going to use a Havoc. <laughs> you just got destroyed, my good friend. Uh, I like this chest. This chest feels like the chest. And it was the chest. We're really on to our second fucking level here. Ooh, this could be good. This could be really good for us if we get the right stuff. Oh, this is gonna be so good. Okay, I don't wanna play this though. Barricade. Metallicize. Flame Barrier. Havoc. And then play an attack card on. Cottage. Take out this guy who's on max HP. Awesome. That, this is so good because we're gonna build so much block out of the early barricade that I'm pretty sure we can perfect this boss. Obviously, I, I'm not 100% sure. It could go either way, but I think we should be in a pretty good place. I will double tap for a double uh, one of those on that guy. I'll defend and I'll end with the body slam on this guy. He will be dead. Awesome. That was a great turn. Got 33 block. We're in a good place. Everything feels sexy. Everything feels perfect. This does 20 something damage. So the right play is, of course, mm, this will give me quite a bit of block, but this will kill. I only need to do three, so we can actually use this. And then we can do this. Get that. Just get a little more block out of it, so we don't we don't lose the perfect. We want to make 100% make, sure we always maintain the perfect. That is what matters. It's that maintaining of the perfect that matters. And that's what we want to do here. We want to just keep maintaining the perfect. Keep ourselves in perfect material area. Make sure that no matter what horrible, scary things might happen, the perfect is never question that's the most important so he's basically dead i don't need to worry about him at all you're not attacking mm, that was your first mistake you probably should have attacked i got infinite blocks for the rest of my life game that's gonna exhaust you are dead you can rally as many people as you want to rally dude it's not going to change anything the fact of the matter remains that you are going da 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 you are gonna gonna da uh, uh. let's play a reckless charge let's play the involve it feels good let's move along oh my god you died to the stupid stone thing you gotta go another have up right and uh we actually just want to take this route even though there's two question marks a little unfortunate but it's okay there's a feed so we, if we could kill on the first one that would be big rupture barricade and uh, that's perfect Okay, so we really want to kill on the first turn. It's kind of a big deal, so... 24... 21... 13. Feed. We're going to get vulnerable. I know, it sucks. This will do 16 times a lot, but I think it's way less than what these will do. It was so close! It was so close yet so far! We're not, we're not going to take one. I'm okay with taking one. 
Maybe I can even get a feed. If I'm lucky. Feel no pain. A little bit of metastasis. Ah, let's get a flame barrier out instead. I don't want to take any unnecessary damage. He's going to die to flame barrier. I won't take any damage. More bank. No, I'm going to go to the shop right now, game. Um, I will get right. I've got game. I've got the gamble. Gambling chips. I don't care. So you can write me all day, baby. Write me all day, baby. This is a song. I wrote it myself. What do you guys think? The best song you ever heard? Yes, I know. I know. You don't have to praise me. I know it's the best song you ever heard. You don't have to... You have to tell me it's the best song you ever heard. I know. I know, I know, I know. What the fuck? There's so much damage. We got to feed on a guy, which is just amazing for me. 48 damage. So good. <coughs> this daily is insane. I'm having a great time, by the way. Oh, free barricade just feels like it was meant to be you gotta go free barricade up in here baby baby no are you kidding me right now good sir are you kidding me right now you mother fudger how did out you're gonna kill yourself to my thorns but i'm gonna try my damnness to get a feed out here I sh oh, I'm gonna try my damnness to get a feed and hope that you don't. You just stay to my thorns. I should just kill you. What am I thinking? I'm an idiot. Oh well, it is what it is. Calipers. We don't want to calipers. Now, this sucks. Now we're gonna lose more bank bonus. But you know, I gotta buy all these cards. Like, Mind Blast. Like, ooh, Mind Blast is actually kind of tempting. Um, let's see what we want. So, we obviously want an exhume. Do we want. We want an Agent T set. That I'm pretty sure we want. But uh, let's just think about it. Let's look what we got. So we have how many exhumes? One exhum. That I know of. We definitely want more exhumes. Because we keep saying we want exhumes. We definitely want exhum. That's not even a question. We have one, two, three. Four Havoc. So Havoc has already got a bonus. So we don't need Rupture we might need. Let's take uh, Iron Wave. That gives us Iron Wave bonus. There goes more bank. Take exhum. Um, I think I have a War Cry. War Cry. Do I have a war cry? In this deck I got one war cry. So I'll take another war cry. What else we got? Bloodletting? Meh. It's not bad. Spot week is not bad either. Effect of X cards. Only X card I have is the wind uh, thingy, which I don't care about. Uh, Engine DC is super good. I'll take a bottle of lightning. Put a skill card in my opening hand. Okay, what skill card would I want to put in my opening hand? Seeing red, maybe havoc, maybe flex, maybe. Mm. That's kind of all. Like I'm looking at this, there's really nothing else I want in my opening hand. Maybe what's some call it? Mind blast sixty will be roughly sixty-seven minus about three, so maybe like it will be fifty-five-ish damage for two energy. That's not bad, especially since they're vulnerable. So it's going to be roughly eighty damage. Who's our boss here? Collector. That's a good just one shot on the collector. We have headbutt to put it back, so mind blast. I think you have to take, even though I kind of didn't want to. Uh, two wild strikes means I'm closer to a wild strike combo. I'll take another rupture. Uh, I'll take another feel no pain. I think I'm very close to having a lot of feel no pains now. One feel no pain. I like feel no pain. Two. I got two feel no pains that I can see. Yeah, two feel no pains. Uh, ruptures. We have one rupture that I see. Two, I see two ruptures. I think we have three ruptures though. I'm pretty sure that we do have three ruptures. We don't have three. We only have two ruptures. Any other cards? Sword Boomerang we do have off. So let's take more of those. Um, we have a singular flame, I think. Might want to consider adding a couple of flames to the deck. It's not bad. It gives us strength. It's really not that bad. Um, I do like the, ops, the, the stone. Panache is good. I'll take Panache. And I'll take another heavy blade because we've got the we got some heavy blades, whatever. <clears throat> I'm gonna dig. I'm not gonna lift. I'm gonna dig. Oh, Kalkum, not a thing I care about, but it's out of the pool now, which means you'll never see it again. Get that, 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 and that. I don't want any of those actually. Keep the zoom. It might be good. Ooh, this is exactly the type of shit I was hoping about. So the first thing you do want to do is play double tap and play a dual wield on the metallicize. You want to go Mind Blast for 90 fucking 4 damage times 2. And then what we will do, it will do 40 times 2 is 80 damage. 
leaving him on 14 damage. Okay. We need to hit him basically once here, though. <coughs> okay, so that was the collector fight, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I think it was a very exciting game. I had a great time watching it. I hope you all did, too. Um, what else can I say, really, you know? Okay, so emulate here feels super good. Feed feels tempting, too. I think, though, I want a headbutt so I can put Mind Boss back on top of the deck. Ooh. I'll definitely go another double tap. So this is a tricky situation. For the first time, I'm actually interested in Sozu. I'm going to take Sozu because I want the extra energy. But, mainly, I don't think I'm going to need the other stuff. There's an elite, 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 and elite. Okay, there's an elite. So there's only two elites, and the only way to get to this is through this. So we have to go through the city, but we can take any other of these three paths. We don't want to get an early shop. We want to kind of go for the most enemies. So this is a really nice path. That's a very nice path. So I'm going to take this path. I'm just going to get all these relics up here, man. <clears throat> we don't want that. Um, we kind of want everything else, though. Yeah, that's a fucking nice opening hand. Holy shit. Uh, well, the first thing you do, obviously, is you uh, you play Mind Blast and you take out someone. So take out this guy. And then you use Pummel Strike on this guy. And then you use Headbutt on this guy and you put back Mind Blast. Then you use Mind Blast on this guy. <coughs> feels good, guys. It feels good. Frozen Egg. A thing I don't care about right now, but it's fine. Hmm. Goodbye, right? And doubt. Two curses gone on the first turn. Feels sexy. Let's go some shame action. Obviously, just mind blast. Potion bout. It's so good. Except I can't use it. Wang. Something like that, I think. Ooh, this is a little bit more of a scarier first turn. That's 99, though. That does 16. And then Havoc just ends someone's life. And then Iron Wave almost ends someone's life, but doesn't actually. War Cry. Get rid of the Parasite. Do that. Okay, there we go. Ended someone's life. Dream Catch is really nice, except we don't really rest, but it's really good. It's really, really good. Oh man, this is such a good deck. The Staley is intense. Intense, man. So good. Go Panache first. Then you go for that little bit of Mind Blast action. Maybe on... Um, well, Iron Wave first on you. So that I can Mind Blast you. Pummel you. Reckless Charge you. Headbutt you. Mind Blast you. And then Perfect to Strike you. I don't know what you guys think, but I think that's some good quality shit right there. Bum, bum, bum. Get rid of this, and I'll get rid of the second wind, and I'll keep the bludgeon, it's fine. Play some panache action up in here, it's free, it makes bludgeon free. Sometimes certain runs are just meant to be, and these are one of those. It's just one of those runs. You know those runs that are just meant to be? It, just, it happens occasionally, you just get a run, and it was meant to be, and it's just how it is. And you need to accept that, and I'm going to accept that. So we really, we really won this fight, because we just do this. Mind Blast, Headbutt, War Cry, Mind Blast, and you move on. That's great. Um, I think Flame Barrier, we can potentially get a Collector's Bonus with that. Ooh, this is scary. This could be scary. Yeah, you get rid of Right, you get rid of this, you get rid of that, and uh, you get rid of Zoom, we don't need that either. A little bit of that free Panache action always feels sexy. One of the most HP is you, good sir, so you are dead. Uh, we'll go like this and bring back Mind Blast. Go Metallicize. Go Rupture. Go uh, this. Go Sword Boomerang. And Mind Blast. I haven't had a Mind Blast one in so long. I'm gonna lift. I'm gonna dig again. I wanted to lift there. I was really tempted to lift there. Now, which part did I want to take? I kind of forgot. I wanted to go this part. Give me the greatest thing Molten Egg and Penub. If we can set up Penub. For the um, Awaken one's first form, we could kill the Awaken one in the first form. It's definitely something to keep in mind, guys. Definitely something to keep in mind. So if we can make that happen, we should definitely give it our best shot. Uh, obviously, when we find Elite, so we go. Let's get a Sundial. Hey, Intangibro. I hate you. You're always difficult to kill. 
Let's do that. Get rid of that. I like the rest of it. Get one of these. It's fine. Let's never get to play one of these. We gotta play one of those. We gotta play one of those. Put back the mime loss. Play him with Hermesis. Oh, we don't have the energy for mime loss. You fool! You fool! He's dead though. Uh, we're on eight right now. Okay, we need to check what we need for points. I think it's Iron Wave. One Iron Wave. Two Iron Wave. Three Iron Wave. So it's definitely Iron Wave. The others are good too, but it's definitely Iron Wave. I dig for another relic. Red Skull. Not gonna be necessary, probably. Maybe. Unlikely. Dun, dun. Goodbye. 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 Go go goodbye. Okay. You start with the Metallicize. You always hope it hits the Mind Blast. It never does. You play power, you hope it hits the Mind Blast. It never does. You go, Mind Blast. Like this. Bring my Mind Blast. And then, um... Ghost Armor. Can I kill you with feed so I can get some max HP out of this? 7 times 4 is 24. Feed. Yes! Got a little bit of max HP. Uneasing top. Probably not gonna be necessary, but whatever. I'm gonna dig again. I wanna get an another whetstone. Upgraded two attacks we didn't care about. Okay, so this is a, a little bit more complicated. Because killing off the uh, awakened one is a little bit harder than what we previously had. We got rid of two curses right off the bat, which is kind of nice. Bum bum ba ra pa 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 Um, palm strike. Mm, 102. 34. 19. Okay, so there's no killing him here. Which also means we lose our perfect, by the way. So I went, I went very greedy here, and I went for the, uh, I went for the one shot on the right one, and we lost our beyond perfect because of it. So, oops, I guess. <laughs> Oopsie. I messed up! I'm sorry! What can I say? That was, that was my bad, guys. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah you can get all the upgrades you want. It's not going to change anything. That takes care of her. I'm, I'm not entirely sure what happened. I can tell you right now, nothing good happened. So we lost our Beyond Perfect because I was a fool. And instead of just playing defensive cards like I should have, I went for some kind of retardation plays. Oh, I'm actually, I messed up a little bit here. Physically can't play anything in this deck? No, okay. Okay, so because I was a, a little bit... I, let's not be... Like, let's not lie. I was greedy as shit and I went for one shot on the awake one. I did throw away my Beyond Perfect. I'm gonna be a man enough to admit it. It is what happened. That's how it is sometimes. Sometimes in life, you just gotta... You gotta throw away your Beyond Perfects, man. You gotta... Someone's gotta do it, you know? It's just how it is. It's just how it is. You need to understand that sometimes... You do need to throw away your Beyond Perfects. Because throwing away your Beyond Perfect is actually the only way you ever... I mean, with 146 damage. Uh, it's the only way to just prove that you don't care too much, you know? We we lost top 100 from that. <laughs> maybe next time just straight up kill the... Uh, maybe next time just straight up kill the... Yeah, we lost top 100 from that. Um, just straight up kill the little guys and block the Awakened One's turn and then kill him next turn. Yeah. You know, that's probably the way we should have approached it, but I'm I'm a greedy mother F and I wanted to really see if I could turn one the awake one and we were 17 damage away. It was insane. Insane. Extremely funny um that my own my own greed made me not get the kill there, so it happens, it happens. I'm I sh I shouldn't have uh, done that. I should have obviously just killed off the little guys and blocked to get the beyond perfect. And that's about a hundred point difference, one thousand three hundred and twenty one so we could have potentially got 
so it's a big deal actually it's actually quite a big deal but it is what it is for now though thank you all very much for watching that episode of Slayer Spire that was a very fun run it was very easy of course but it was very fun and that's the thing about the ironclad the ironclad he does feel like he's super easy but it feels like he's super easy and he's still fun to play but relics is are overpowered and we got such great starting relics to start off with marbles and toxic egg as our first two relics and then get courier so the shops become cheaper which means you can buy more from them as well as the fact that the stuff restock those three to start off with those three relics specifically is so good so good and every relic after was just good 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 i felt like we never got bad relics matryoshka was great uh, this was probably not good because we kind of messed up our stalling for the uh, what's it called it I only had four purses so I didn't get the curse daily bonus either I needed one more curse but all in all that was a fun ass they had a great time playing and I hope you guys all enjoyed that daily without further ado thank you very much for watching hit that subscribe button it helps out a lot thanks for all the awesome comments on the series I really been appreciating all the commentary and all the uh, helpful advice as well as um, just positive feedback that I've been getting from the, the game. It really means a lot. makes these dailies definitely worth it. Once again, thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you next time with more Slay the Spy dailies coming your way soon. And by soon, I mean tomorrow because tomorrow is the next daily. And we'll be on the next amount of wins, which will probably be 13 wins and 5 losses. Because right now we're on 12 wins and 5 losses. Because we're really good at the game. Goodbye.